Everyone likes these first look videos. Uh, Belfast 43, I've been saying it for a while, but it's probably not gonna be very good. Of course I could be wrong, so let's dive into it. This is without upgrades on the boat. 152 millimeter guns and a nine five second reload. That's, um, that's kind of rough, if you ask me. 9-9 nine, nine rudder shift with an 11-4 concealment. And, you know, all this is hunky-dory fine. The reload's too long. Uh, torps. Some people are like, oh, it's got torps, but it doesn't have very good torps. 8 kilometers, 61 knots. Yeah. Here's where the problem comes in, though, okay? You have the option to run heel. Well, almost everything in Tier 7 has a heel, right? So they gave this a heel. But you can run smoke. Well... If you run smoke, this thing becomes a tier six Belfast and tier seven, right? You just have the option to have a heel. So it's like the same ship, right? Okay, well, maybe not, because maybe they buffed up the armor on it so it can last in tier seven. So that maybe that would make sense, right? Then you could you can make the heel viable build. So let's, let's check it out. What do we got? No, they did not. So what you're looking at here, you're looking at Citadel above the waterline, first off. And what you're looking at here on the bow, that's 16 millimeter bow, I, which I hate to break it to you, that is dev strike th through the bow, right? That's overmatched by virtually everything, and that's a dev strike through the bow, medium to long range, and even quite possibly up close. I mean, if you look at it, if you really look at it, there is a chance that you can hit right here at the waterline, right? And just right into the citadel. Definitely as you back up and you get farther away from it, definitely will be able to punch through there. The other thing I want you to look at here, I want you to look at the back guns. So I'm looking at rear gun firing angles without even playing the ship yet. I can just tell you, you're gonna need to be somewhere right in here to get these guns to fire on the back, which would be fine if you had a bow and you could bow tank and you could just lob those six shells right there, but you're not gonna be able to. You're gonna have to turn out to like here, somewhere in here to get those back guns to fire. And that is, you're looking at that as a battleship player or as a, Cruiser player that's got AP loaded. That is a juicy looking sight right there. Just for the giggles, we're gonna open up tier six as well. And I wanna see the tier six Belfast. I wanna see its armor real quick, all the way over. It's got it's got a 13 millimeter bow instead of a 16. So they did buff the armor up a little bit, up to 16, uh, but 16 is still not very much. And just for even more giggles, let's look at Minos bow. Everyone knows Minos bow pretty rough and it's 16 so it's got the same bow as mine as the mine source and uh, let's clear away the clutter and this is mino keep in mind but yes there's a mid citadel that's raised up that's why it's so easily deletable but i want you to look at that citadel right there you, everyone's citadel well just about everyone citadel to mine with the bow that citadel is raised up a, just a yeah, just a little bit more than the belfast 43 just a little bit but I think you're gonna have a lot of the same results with the Belfast 43. 16 millimeters is not much enough to do anything really. Clear away the clutter again and uh, let's go ahead and cut the bow off and you can see it's still above waterline there a little bit. It's not as bad as the Tiger 59 or not Tiger 59 excuse me the Mino but it is still definitely there and I think that will definitely be a, a rude awakening for quite a lot of people to pick this ship up and play this ship. That being said, a lot of people buy the ship because it's 2,500 doubloons and you get a lot of extra good stuff, right? And if that's the case, great, go for it. But I don't know how much of an argument people are gonna make to say how good this ship is gonna be because it is essentially, it's essentially a tier six Belfast. They buffed up the, the nose by three millimeters. Well, I hate to break it to you, but three millimeters isn't gonna do a whole lot in tier seven, which is now legendary tier, and I know it won't do anything in legendary tier. I mean, think about Alaska can go right through the bow of this thing. Because you you do it to Minos, right? It's got the same nose. It's got a little lower citadel, but it's got the same end result, so. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you just a little bit of gameplay. Not much, but just clips from games. I'll play two or three and just, I'll click on this recording whenever I've got a good thing I would like to show you guys. Keep it sweet, keep it simple. Well, I messed up. I've got a heal on here. So, time to do an armor check. We're gonna see how this goes. Of course, we're in legendary, so I'm gonna try and get to this island and just kind of hold fast, but I was right about the turret angles. Look at the back gun alignment angle. Don't have it, have it. That's a pretty wicked angle. If someone opens up broadside to get all guns on, uh, just about everything in the game is gonna have a lot of fun shooting at it. 
Okay. There's a DD in this cap with me. Um, the Azuma did that to me? Wow. The Azuma did that to me? 152s get uh, ricochets. Bad in ice. That's kind of rough, brother. That's more than a little rough. That's super mega rough. Well, okay, we got a advanced tactic by young boy number one. What is my smoke frying penalty? That guy's detecting me? 5-7. Wow. Really? 5-7? That is some advanced dumpster fire right there. These guns couldn't spin slower, could they? Okay, I got a fast rudder shift. And my steam-powered reverse gears. Uh, I'm... Probably taking this. Oh, it's gonna be so close. Oh, my lord. How fast can I throw this thing into forward? Oh, back, 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 back. This thing does not want to shift gears. Oh my god, it's so sluggish. Oh my lord. It's so bad, it's so sluggish, dude. Holy cow. Okay, let's just send it in here, try and get the Shima out of here. I finally got my guns to spin around. Look at these torp firing angles, too. Oh my lord. Oh, what a dumpster. God, could the guns go any slower either, dude? On a light cruiser with 152s, they're hand propelled. Man. Oh my god. I'm just gonna burn this. Wasn't quite where I needed him to be. I know, unfortunate. We're gonna beach because that's the best way to stop this big lumbering thing. Until we die from this curve first right here. Who's gonna be the one to kill us today? Will it be you? Oh man. Wow, dude. What guns are on Azuma? I'm, I'm so dead from behind here. It's, it's not even a question. I don't have angles to even begin to think about torping him. Oh heck no, dude. How much longer will I last in the Belfast 43? I can't even begin to think about torping that, dude. Like, even on that angle. How much... Were you getting any pins on that, Azuma? Oh my god, this thing is so weak at this tier. <sighs> yeah. If you guys buy the Admiral backing, go right ahead, but don't buy it for the ship. Unless it's gonna be a novelty item. <sighs> Let's try that again. With a smoke this time. Wow. Look at how that mino is just absolutely chewing me alive. Smoke generator activated. Wow. Through the bow? Nope. Kind of missed. Boy, these things just don't stop. They just don't stop. So we got 38 seconds on this smoke. Oh, brother. That is some type of rough. Oh, those torp angles are so bad. This is gonna be very interesting right here. AP on this thing. I'm gonna torp it like right here. He's gonna turn in when he sees me. Oh my God, go forward. Go forward. There's the turn in. Did I do that correctly? Six bounces, one, five, twos, nothing. Out of the ordinary. Could have been running hydro right there. I was smart, but I'm not. And that, and that. We can't pin our bow, but it's also 152s. And he's probably torping. Yep. Torpedoes dead ahead. Oh my god. Look, I'm gonna be real honest. Um, I can think of about 30 other ships I'm playing before I play this thing. And even then, I think I would rather, honestly, go down and play the original Belfast with a 7.5 reload, which is still long, but I think I would rather play the original Belfast. I really do. 
Um, the, yeah, yeah, I've got nothing else to say about it. I'm, I'm not impressed. I don't like it. It's it's slow. It's not maneuverable. I'm not saying you can't do well in it. I just I don't like it. It doesn't fit my play style whatsoever, uh, and and therefore I, I won't be playing it. It's I don't like it. I'm probably gonna keep it around for now just so I can show people, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't care for it whatsoever. So there, that's my opinion, and everyone else can have a different one or they can have a similar one. It makes no difference to me. But there you go. You saw it here. My job is done.